Hello everyone, this is Owen from Oh The Whimsical, and today I am going to be doing a quick little, a smaller re review on the LEGO Limited Edition Easter set that is from the LEGO Store and LEGO.com. I believe you get this if you make any purchases over $60, and I'm not 100% sure when this runs through. Um, I think it's er sometime early April is when this runs through, and if you guys have never seen any of these before, or don't know what these are basically every now and then I don't know if it's all the time but I know every now and then Lego kind of makes these certain sets where you can only get them at certain times and you have to spend a certain amount of money to get them I know some of the earlier ones were the um, Amelia Earhart set um, there's a Charles Dickens one around Black Friday Christmas time and I'm not a hundred percent sure what other ones there are but this is the one for 2021 in uh, late March, early April. So it is Easter, as you can tell. On the box, it has the limited edition seal with the Easter egg. Normally that goes with whatever the set is. Um, and yeah, this is set 40449. Uh, it doesn't have a name, so I've just been calling it the carrot house with the little bunny or bunny carrot house. I don't know. I, I Basically, I've just been calling it the the limited edition Easter set. But uh, as you can see from the front of the box, it comes with a little rabbit or bunny um, and his little carrot house, which is actually, it was a really fun build. The box is already open because I've already built it, but it was a very fun build. I wasn't expecting myself to like this set. Um, I don't know why exactly. I just wasn't really feeling this set 100%. Um, I just didn't think it was gonna be exactly what I thought it was, but it honestly really, exceeded my expectations this set is it was a very fun build i think it's a very cute build it's a very good for it, it, it's a great on display kind of build for easter time in your house or in your room or wherever it's even a great gift for for children or other people who like legos this is kind of the back of the box here it shows you the overview of the back of the house a little section at the roof of the house and another picture of the front door which i'll go ahead and show you guys what those look like and another picture of what the rabbit looks like next to the house. Um, I really like the colors of the box. I really like this olive drab kind of green with the kind of texture to it. It's a really, it's not actually textured. It's still smooth like a normal Lego box, but you can kind of see some texture on it. But I really like it. I think the color really works with the, the red stands out against the, the green and the orange also stands out with the, the green. So it's very nice. And I also like the Easter eggs that are built into the box over here on the side. I think it's a very cute design for the box. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get into the review and tell you guys what I think of the set. So here is the set once it is fully built and completed. Uh, so it's the house in whole, and it is also the little bunny rabbit that is supposed to be living in this house. And like I said before, I think this is a very cute set. I think it is is a very perfect set for around Easter time. It very it fits the the spring kind of feel. You definitely get the happy kind of colorful, cheery colors and vibe that you kind of get with springtime and i really enjoy it um i'll start here with the little easter bunny or the little bunny um it's nothing really crazy it's just a small little build i mean you can pretty much tell how it's built just from looking at it um i, I really like the little whipped cream piece for the tail for the the bunny i think it looks really cute i think it's a very cute build the ears do move on it as you can see you can move the ears around however you want them to i just kind of had them positioned kind of like that so you can kind of just sit there and that's pretty much it for the bunny so i'll go ahead and set him aside and then focus on the main portion of the set which is the bunny's carrot house now as you can see out front there is a post box, a little mailbox, and the front door. The, the only one piece, all of these are stickers. That's a sticker. This is a sticker. This is a sticker. There's some stickers on the inside as well and some more on the outside. The only printed piece that I can fully remember while building is this little log piece here uh, for the little walkway up to the front door of the house. That is the only printed piece that I can remember. The rest are all stickers. So it did have a decent amount of stickers. And my one complaint that I do have to say was my sticker little paper was really crumpled inside of the box as well as my instructions they were really they were really tore up I, I they weren't really like ripped or anything but it was just in really bad condition kind of like it was just thrown in there but i'm not really gonna complain it was a free set that i got from purchasing so i can't really complain about anything in a free set but that's just my little one stipulation that i had with it my sticker book and um instruction manual were kind of crumpled and wrinkly so i just 
for, for forewarning in case that ever happens, uh, I didn't have any problem with my stickers. I mean, you can see none of them really have any wrinkles or anything on them. So I was pretty happy about that. This sticker was actually kind of hard for me to put on um, just at the angle and everything that it was on, but it turned out fine. But um, so this front door can indeed open and close like any normal uh, door does. You can kind of see inside. I can show you a better angle inside once you get to the once we get to the back, it's more open. But the door does open and close. You have a little roof here, and you got some Easter eggs kind of on the side here. You get some windows with some shutters on this side, and the other side of the house is the exact same thing. It's got some plants and some shutters on the window. And the very top is the stem of the carrot where the little grass grows. And so, it, like I said, it is a very cute set. I think it looks very good. I mean, you can definitely tell that this is a carrot and it's meant to be a little carrot house. And I just think it's a really cute little set. But I really, I really enjoy the inside of the house, actually. I don't know exactly how well you can see, but that in there is a little sticker on the mirror. But it's supposed to look like a little mirror in a bathroom. And it's got a little dresser in there that you build. And I really like this little rug that's in here. It looks like a little chicken cracking out of an egg. I think thought that was very cute. It looks like a little throw rug and I really like that. And then as well on the side here, you can kind of see some paintings that the rabbit has hanging up and a little family portrait, it seems like, along with some other pictures of other rabbits and some drawings that it looks like uh, they did as well. It was very cute. And actually, there's a little hidden piece. If you can take this off here, there is a little egg up there. I don't know if that's the rabbit's egg or if the rabbit stole an egg or what it is, but that is hidden up there. And this piece just kind of goes right back on just like that. And you can't tell from the other side that it's there or that it's up in there. So it's kind of cool that you can take that off and it's a little something in there. But that is basically, okay, that is another problem that I've had with the set. These don't really stay up here too well. You got to really be careful touching these little green parts. They were kind of difficult to put together. It wasn't the hardest build ever, but just the way that they are put together, these pieces are kind of finicky sometimes, at least in my opinion. They, they kind of don't want to stick to each other and snap together. So that was the only smaller problem that I had with this set. But besides that, overall, it was a very fun build. It, it was a pretty quick build. It was only 232 pieces, so it's nothing really dramatic. But I think this is a really cute Easter set. And if you do have the chance and you want to pick up another Lego for over $60 and get this, I mean, you might as well. You're getting the Lego that you pay for as well as a free one. You might as well pick it up. But that is pretty much this set as a whole. I'll bring the box back in here, kind of sit in the back, see what it looks like as a whole. But uh, I really hope you guys did enjoy this review. Uh, this is my very first video on this channel, the very first review on this channel. So I'm sorry if it wasn't the greatest thing ever. I'm still working on figuring out how I want to do it and I'm still learning. So it is a learning process. We will get there and it will be much better as the time goes on. So if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, comment down below what you'd like to see on this channel and I will hopefully see you guys next time. Bye.